Hello there, I'm Spud Full Nelson, professional bartender. I'm currently working at popular college bar McRinky Stinkies, and today I'll be showing you how to make a mixed drink. For my example here, I'll be using a classic vodka coke, a drink for real men. If you don't want to be sterile, I recommend vodka cokes, but this will be a college bar spin on it. This is how us college bar bartenders will serve it. Now, I'm using Svedka here, and one of the things you'll notice is the people who make Svedka are too fucking stupid to put any grooves on the cap so there's no grip at all, so you'll need to break out your Svedka bottle opening tools. As you can see, I start going at it with a rusty pair of pliers, but to no avail, the Svedka bottle bests even the most elite of tools. I then switch to the adjustable wrench, but it seems I've miscalculated the diameter of the cap, so then I just go to my Svedka opening oven mitt. And luckily this one was able to pop that shit off no problem at all, mainly due to my Herculean strength. Now once you've brute forced your way into your Svedka bottle, the actual drink making can begin. You're going to want to start by pouring about one shot's worth into your glass. We don't want to go too hard on here because a vodka coke is meant to be a drink that you keep ordering a lot of in order to get to your desired le level of inebriation. So pour a little coke on there so it helps with the flavor a little bit. And then once you've poured a little coke, you want to go back to your Svedka and pour just a little bit more Svedka, about another shot's worth of Svedka. And then we can get to the next component to this concoction. You're going to want to use some dish soap. I'll be using some Dawn. And you only want a dash of it, just like you're using a little bit of olive oil. Just a, a dash of Dawn in there. And then a little bit more Svedka so you can help dilute it so you don't taste too much of the soap. Because as I'm sure we all know, too much soap in our alcoholic beverages can become a bit unpalatable. Now this part's optional. Grab your Shutter Home wine, go ahead and unscrew that, and then just pour that bitch right in the sink. Because it's just fucking abysmal. I don't know how the fuck they can get away with even selling something that disgusting. The next important component to this drink is going to be dog food. Go ahead and rob your dog and take some of their kibble bits and just toss them in here. A gracious amount of kibble bits. Don't be afraid of it and I'd like to make note that this is going to be an iceless drink since it's at a college bar and they can't fucking afford ice apparently. But the kids love the kibble bits. That's what really sells them. You may not get ice cubes to chew on but you'll at least have some dog food which tastes better than modern cafeteria food anyway. I see a lot of people forget about the baby powder but that's probably one of the most important ingredients in the college bar vodka coke. People can really taste when the baby powder is absent from the drink. You don't want to forget it. And then go ahead and pour a little bit more Svedka on top of it just to really make sure that they're getting their bang for their buck. Spoonful of dirt, and that goes without saying, that's a given. No explanation needed there. Really just a staple of college bars in general. Sometimes I also enjoy sprinkling a bit of salt and pepper into my cauldron here. I think it really does enhance it. I've had glowing reviews when I throw those bad boys in the mix. A vodka coke is meant to be a nutritious drink, so I like to infuse it with some vitamin D gummies. I only throw three in at maximum. Last thing I'd want is someone to overdose on vitamin D because of me or have a bad taste in their mouth on my watch so I make sure not to overdo it with the vitamin D supplementation a tad more vodka and a tad more coke and baby that drink is ready to serve if you're some type of fucking amateur you have to mix it together in the bartending business we call it rolling the drink so make sure you roll it back and forth between two cups or a shaker tin and, you know, that way the flavors can really blend together and form this symbiotic relationship and maybe even a little community. Maybe they'll have a little school in there and a library and shit. It'll be a nice little tight-knit Sims community in your drink and it'll come across in the flavors. You don't want any one particular flavor to overpower the others. And that's kind of risky because depending on how much soap you put in there, it might overpower the rest of the drink and they might not like that amount of soap. It's a very delicate and specific science that really just takes some getting used to and getting your feet wet to get it right. Now I'm going to do something here. I'm going to show you my secret technique, my signature move, the thing the history books will remember me for. I do something special where you can ask for the drink on the wrap, or you can call it a Britodka. I understand what it means both ways. And that's what people really love, you know, they'll say, you'll see me on the, suite, it's the street, hey, Spud Full Nelson, uh, next time I see you, I'll have to get a vodka coke on the wrap, eh? And I'll be like, yep, well, fuck yeah, you're right. So what you do is you get a grande burrito shell, you want to fold it chipotle style but real tight and then you want to make sure you have a tight bottom on it because this is going to be a very important part. Then you want to fold it out a little bit so you can have a nice cup form to it. It's no different than working with clay and you know ceramics class and shit like that. Once you got a nice little cave carved out in there that you think you can hold the liquid in, go ahead and pour the drink into the burrito shell. And then you can serve it up just like that. It's no longer just a boring drink in a boring cup. Now you've got a burrito that is filled with your alcoholic drink of choice. It's delicious, trust me. They fucking love it and go wild for it. And there you have it, for only $40 at your local college bar, you could have something very similar to this. 
And I mean, that's about it. That's just one of the many mixed drinks college bars can sell you. See ya.